So I am going to be doing a at-home workout for you today. One with accessories, one without accessories. It's going to be a full body workout. So let's get started. So my first one is glutes and legs. So I am actually going to be doing uh, three exercises for you. Just kind of get the body moving. So the first thing we're going to do is body weight squats. So body weight squats, you're going to want to hit parallel depth. You want to make sure your shoulders are kind of up and back. Feet are a little bit shoulder width apart. I like to slightly point my note out. Um, so here we are. I, if you helps you, I kind of just keep my hands up here, but some people keep their hands up here. So you're just going to squat down, hit parallel, and squat back up. So really because you're not using any of the resistant bands that I'll be using when, for later time, you're really going to want to squeeze and it's, it's called the raisin squad. So if you come down here, sit down, squeeze up and really clench. So you really get that good squat. So do three sets of 15 on that. The next thing we'll do are sumo squats. So your legs are going to be broader than shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. You're going to want to have your, basically track your knees over your toes. The same thing, you want to do the raisin squad. Again, keep your chest as up as you can. Make sure you hit parallel depth. And then you're going to want to go down, squeeze, down, squeeze. And the side of you, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. So again, three sets of 15 on that. And that's pretty much the whole thing. I'll post the actual rep works as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and do jumping squats. So same thing, shoulder width squats here. The only difference is, is you're going to jump and then you're gonna do a burnout. So burnouts are always fun. Um, so basically what a burnout is, you're gonna basically just kind of hover, 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 and it really is gonna get the glutes working. So you get the activation of it. So squat down, jump, point toes, traction, jump down. And then you'll do a set of 15 of that. Once you do your complete set 15, you wanna do a burnout of 10. So you're here, up, kind of stay in the parallel, really just go up and down and you'll definitely feel it. And then that's complete for that one. All right, the next thing we're going to do is arms without any weights. So I'm telling you, definitely do your 30 second intervals on this. Basically, you're gonna hold your arms out here and you're gonna go flex, 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 flex. Then it's literally just flicking your wrist down and flicking it back up. Then you're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Move forward to do circles, forward for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do flex again for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do back circles for 30 seconds. And you're gonna repeat this for, I like to do five times. Um, really, 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 really gets like the arms working. Um, and that's kind of just a little arm workout, get your body moving again. All right, so the next thing we're going to do are abs. So regular crunches, definitely focus on, you know, just extending not pulling on your neck and really getting that contraction. The alternate V-ups, so lay down, hands up, then just extend and really control your abs up. I like to do one set at a time, but we can alternate as well. Up. And really don't just kick your leg up, really use your abs to pull them up. Again, 30 sets of that. You're gonna come on up, sit on your tailbone, Reach out your arms. You can hold this if it's too hard. Really works your lower abs. Out, in, out, in. Breathe. Doing everything. And that is for abs. So, and then of course, a little bit of cardio, getting outside. Um, you can either walk or jog. So I actually so took my accessory eight. booty bands. I am using Ali Bessie's. It's a really high resistance. You can kind of see. It has a lot of grips. Uh, thank you, Ali Bessie, for making a great bond. And then I also have like these other little like flimsy ones that I got on Amazon. They're pretty good. This is actually the extra heavy, but it's really not that much resistance. So I'll switch between those. And then as well, I have the foam roller because I'm going to be doing an alternate booty exercise. So 
Um, I will be checking the camera to make sure that they look okay. But I'll put the Ali Bessie band on and I'm bringing it up to around my thighs. I'm going to be doing a few different exercises with bands. So I'm gonna lay on down. Perfect, you can see what I'm doing. So I have my legs over on the foam roller just to kind of elevate. What I'm going to be doing is picking my legs up in a bridge. Again, like we did the Raisin Squad, you're going to go down, really don't hold yourself, and squeeze up. Down, and your legs should be about a little bit bent, but really feel the squeeze. And again, just repeat that. Her next motion will be the frogs. So your feet are going to be like this together. And you're together over here. Legs can be up. Pick up and squeeze. So this is really going to work your side booty. And I just hold my hips just because that's what I do. And then our next alternating item will be side to sides. So I changed the band for this one because it's a little too heavy and my side booty isn't that strong. So I'll put these flimsy ones on. Um, it does get a good balance. I'll turn over to my side. I put my little feet together. The most important part is about keeping your feet together on this one and kind of sit up a little bit and then just extend, extend, and then you're gonna switch it around and do the other leg. Extend 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 so that is that one and then we're going to turn around i might just turn around this way for this one probably a better angle and we're going to do straight leg kicks i apologize for my butt being in your face in advance keep your back as neutral as possible leg extended and kick control the kick again we're going to just alternate the legs and then donkey kicks. So same kind of thing. Keep your back as neutral as possible. Don't curve it. Kick it out. You're gonna to wanna to go up and down. Up, oh, and that's gonna be the under booty. And again, just alternate the legs. Do your rep work. Really control on squeezing. And that is the banded booty workout. So the next thing we'll be using is a kettlebell and we'll be using the same form as sumo squats. So again, we're going to come slightly more than shoulder width apart, knees, I'm sorry, toes pointed out, knees going to track over your toes. Just hold the kettlebell and extend down and squeeze. Again, raisin squat. Always keep squeezing. We'll do our set of that and then we're going to pick up our tippy toes. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Actually, let me let me move it down just a little bit. So you have our tippy toes, same stance, tippy toe. Really gonna focus on one side and can you alternate your sides. Again, kettlebell, keep your back as straight as possible and squat down, squat down. And then you'll switch sides. My next set of movement, we'll get our booty band again and we're gonna use the kettlebell as well. And it's gonna be a Romanian deadlift. Um, so basically what you're gonna to wanna to think about with this movement is extending your hips back. You don't wanna curve your back. You don't really wanna bend your back. You wanna move your whole hips back. So I'll just show you without weight. Knees, a leg slightly shoulder width apart, slightly pointed out. And you're gonna to wanna to bring your, keep your back as neutral as possible bring your whole back down. You should build all in your hamstrings. So if you grab your kettlebell, kind of same thing. I just hold it down because usually I track over. So what is gonna happen is I'm gonna track down and up and really squeeze. Down and up. And your knees can slightly bend on this one. So don't try to keep your legs as straight as possible. It is a Romanian deadlift. And then let me just Push it on down a little bit, and you're gonna go down and up and squeeze, always squeeze. So that is our booty building banded accessory where it's closed. And so you're gonna reach out 
and extend and really get what you're going to want to do is extend and you want to feel your back going like this and really think about squeezing a pencil back so i don't know let me see if i can move the camera a bit and you're seated down extend extend so my next thing I'm going to do are arms, shoulders, and a little bit of back motion. So for the first arm exercise, we have these bands that I purchased. There's a few different resistance, and you'll see them as I use the video. Um, so for a bicep, I'm just going to step down onto the thing, and I'm going to have my wrists flicked out, and then I'm just going to curl. And really focus on the actual extension of it and really don't move don't swing it like that's not going to do anything keep your arms glued to your side that's usually what i say and then extend and do your set of that my next motion so i'm just on the band with my knees and i'll sit down kind of like just perching down and i want to think about keeping my elbows as neutral as possible. So I kind of want to do this rather than this because it's going to extend. I'm going to hit my elbows. So overhand grip like this. Keep your elbows right here as stationary as possible. Think about a little parallel and then you're just going to extend up and down. And this is going to work your shoulders a lot. And it's going to feel amazing. So I'm going to look at the back view. Just freaking down. And elbows slightly neutral as well. What we're going to do is lat raises. Again, we're going to want to step on our band with our lat raises. You're going to want to have your elbows slightly a little bit bent because you're going to want to lift them up. So elbows slightly a little bit bent, a little bit shoulder width and apart, and extend and really control your lats so you really want to focus on the portion right here and you're just going to come up and down up and down again repeat your course the next thing we can do i do have some dumbbells very light uh, but we're going to be doing alternating again raises um, with doubles so what i like to do is shoulder width apart knees slightly bent elbows slightly bent you're going to want to lift up and down Really only going up to your eye level and controlling, and then double. So you want to do the set of that. If you look from the side, knees slightly bent, up, down, up, down, extend. And then we can also do some Arnold's, I like to call them. So your legs are slightly bent as well. You're going to be forward a little bit, so from the side, slightly bent, forward, hunch. You want to bring your wingspan up, think about lifting your elbows to the sky. And your elbows are going to be slightly bent. And then extending the chest in front. So up, extend, up, extend. And again here, up, extend. Really focus on the wingspan. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is a pull for your back. So. Again, your back will be as neutral as possible on all fours. Grab your dumbbell. Usually you're on a bench with this, but we, since we're going to have a bench, you're going to improvise. So keep your back as neutral as possible. Again, think about squeezing the dumbbell for the traction of the pencil. And then you just alternate. So those are all my full body workouts for accessories. Um, again, so I like to change up my cardio just so I don't get a little bit bored. I do this every time, even at the gym. Um, so tomorrow I'll probably do stairs and we'll do a hit interval of that. So I hope you guys all liked it and I hope you guys all stay active and who knows we'll come out of quarantine being brand new people. And I really hope you guys will at least try some of these out. Um, again, always don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. And I hope you have a great, wonderful, safe, healthy quarantine.